Hello, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing this video to help you understand the addition and disjunctive syllogism inference rules. Knowing two simple vocabulary words will help you understand these inference rules. The vocabulary words are deduce and infer. To deduce is to conclude something on the basis of something else. Like if my dog is scratching on the door, I can deduce that he would like to go outside. Inferring is when you reason to something on the basis of something else. Like I hear a siren and I can assume that an emergency vehicle is approaching. With these definitions in mind, let me explain the two inference rules in more detail. The addition rule may appear deceiving at first, but do not get caught up in the simplicity of it. The addition rule states that from a sentence P, you may infer P or Q. Q in this situation is any well-formed sentence of TL. This rule is important because it makes it possible to introduce disjunctions to logical proofs. The following is an example of the addition inference rule. From sentence P, which is Pat is a man, we can infer, therefore, Pat is a man or pigs are flying over the Indian Ocean. My last example is completely valid because the sentence I inferred is true, which allows me to put anything after it. What I'm trying to get across is if P is true, then P or Q must be true. And another example of this would be, I have three cats, which I actually do, so it's true. And that is the sentence we will assume. And we'll add a disjunct to it. I have three cats. Therefore, I either have three cats or I have no cats. And this is valid because one of the inferences is true. And that's all it takes for the whole to Some be Some of you may be thinking that the addition rule is still hard to understand. Just give me a second to explain disjunctive syllogism and that might connect some of the dots. Disjunctive syllogism is when we are told that at least one of two statements is true. So just like the addition rule, one of the two disjuncts must be true. The way the rule of disjunctive syllogism works is if you have a disjunction and you have the negation of one of its disjuncts, then you can derive the other disjunct as true. So if you have P or Q and you do not have P, you can assume that you have Let Q. Let me just get a recap. If one is false, we know for sure the other must be true. So if it's P or Q and we do not have P, we can assume that we have Q. And this is also vice versa. If we have P versus Q, and we do not have Q, we can assume that we have P. So like we said, if one is false, we know for sure that the other must be true. To put this in a real life example, let's say either my mom is in California or she is in New York. She is not in New York. Since we have one of these disjuncts not true, we can conclude that the other must be true. And in this case, my mom is in California or she is in New York. She is not in New York. That means my mother is in California.